information. The words, the verbal part, carry 7% of the message, whereas the nonverbal carries the rest, 93%. It's an amazing statistic there. So that's why I say, why don't we spend more time studying nonverbal? If the words are not that important, let's focus on the rest. Anybody ever taken a class in nonverbal communication or a workshop or anything like that? There are some good ones out there, but we don't generally find ourselves as motivated to do that. Well, let's talk about the breakdown here, how this works. So we have two methods of nonverbal communication. We've already talked about the four methods of verbal. You guys know that that's reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Nonverbal can be either what? Most common, this is the 55%. Oh, the um, uh, facial expression, body language. Yeah, body language, that's right. Body language.